Oh, hi. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband and it is a brand new webtoon to me and it was recommended by you guys so it's gonna be fun. But letting you guys know starting this year 2023 I have to start censoring a lot of the panels as I read and only display like 20% of the webtoon so I'm gonna show you guys you know parts of the webtoon that I feel like oh my god this is worth showing so if you guys really want to read along with me feel free to check out the link below on webtoon.com and read along with me so all right guys let's get started Warning, this episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some readers. Ring, ring. The person you are calling is not available. Beep. 12.37 p.m. P.m.? Oh. April 10th. That jerk. How could he do this to me? Why aren't you answering my calls? Pick up. Are you kidding me right now? Bring me my money. Aren't you going to pay my hospital bills? Heyman won. Just give me back my money. I only have a few months left to live. Is it too much to ask that he stand by my side? Is this a girl or a boy? I can't tell. Marry my husband. Episode 1. How's the patient in room 201? Not great. The doctor said she only has a few months left. She's still so young. I feel bad for her. Oh, it's a girl. But I haven't seen her husband since she was admitted to the hospital. I'm sure it's tough for him too. Let's do our best to take good care of Miss Kang. Miss Kang, it's time for your meds. Huh? Where did she go? Spring is here. While I lay in bed slowly succumbing to cancer. These lovely flowers blossomed and bloomed. I'm jealous. They're beautiful even as they fall. Please take me to Parkview apartment. Clunk. Oh dear, you must be very ill, miss. Yes. You get better in no time. It's spring already. <sighs> the way he speaks reminds me of my dad. I didn't think I'd get to hear someone with that same accent here in Seoul. Juwon, I put our house on the market. Let's move to Seoul. Are you happy? <laughs> yes, you're the best dad. Cheer up. There's a saying that goes, Today is a gift. It's a future that someone wished for before they died. Is that how it goes? It's not quite sure if, uh, I'm not quite sure if that's correct. <laughs> I don't think I'll want tomorrow to come, even if today's my last day on Earth. It's not like anything good will happen tomorrow. What do you mean? You can always make good things happen. Here. Take this. Just think of me as a father looking out for his daughter. Everything will be okay. You'll get back on your feet in no time and make a lot of money too. And you'll meet a man who is head over hills for you. Today's my last day, and you're my last customer. So just promise me you'll live a happy life. You don't need to pay the cab fare, that's all I ask. Oh. Okay, I promise. Vroom. Thank you. For leaving me with a beautiful memory in this shitty life. Da dum. I mean, just ma that moved me, okay? I can't even remember how many months it's been since I was last home. Are those other women hills? Huh? These are the hills I got for Suman. What are they doing here? And after I get my deposit, let's move somewhere else. Huh? Stop. <laughs> How much do you say the deposit was? I want to live in a brand new apartment, babe. Uh, uh. Of course, let's find a place as soon as I get the insurance money. <laughs> How much will you get? 500 million won. 
about 400,000 USD. <gasps> really? That's so much money. <gasps> Her dad died of cancer too. I heard it was hereditary. She kept having stomach aches and digestive issues, so I took out insurance on her before taking her to the hospital. Then babe, will you buy me a designer handbag? I bought you one last month. She'll be dead in six months, so just wait. I'll buy you everything you want. Urgh. Says who? Uh, do you want? Uh, honey. H honey, it's not what you think. Why do... People always go for that saying. It's not what you think. <laughs> you bastard. You think I'm going to let you get away with this? <laughs> I'm going to write, get, wait, I'm going to get alimony and write about this on the company bulletin board. I'll tell your families and leak it online too. <laughs> so that you'll never be able to show your face in public again. Insurance money. Don't even think about it. I'm going to get you to pay back everything you owe me and more. G1, please don't do this. We're friends. We're best friends. That's even worse. Friends? St Some friends you are. You've been sleeping with my husband and when you know I only have a few months left, just waiting to get that insurance money. G1, I, I beg you. P please, don't tell people at work or my family, please. Are you seriously concerned about what your co-workers and family are going to think right now? Well, yeah, I have my whole life ahead of me. <laughs> and you're going to die soon anyway. <sighs> Sum and Jiyeon, I'm going to kill you. <sighs> oh, dude, God, help me, babe. Hey, let go of her. Hey, G1. <gasps> he hit a sick person. Do you just hit me? Do you have a problem with that? You just tried to hit Sumin. That's what you get for trying to ru ruin our lives. You're as good as dead. So for, for the love of God, please just go out quietly. And whose fault is it that I'm on a deathbed? It's all because of you and your parents. Your parents constantly belittled me for growing up without a mother, and it got worse when my dad passed away, while you blew all my savings on stocks and took your anger out on me? I would have lived if I have gone to the hospital sooner. You murderer! I'm going to take all of you down with me, and you and your parents. I refuse to go out quietly, you little... Oh. What is this abuse? Well, the uh, uh. <gasps> G -G -G my head, my head feels warm, and I can't move my body. Sh she's. Not dead, is she? Uh, she was gonna die soon anyway. It, it burns. H help. God, this f sucks. The doctor gave her three to six months. Twelve at most if she was really lucky. But you, Ji Won Kang died at 37. She didn't even get to live out her last days. Ji Won. Ji Won. Dad? <gasps> Jiwon, can you promise me something? A promise? Yes, then daddy will give you a present. <laughs> promise me you'll live a happy life. Okay, I promise. Dad? What are you doing? Our lunch break is over. It feels warm. Mm. Am I dreaming? When did you go home last night? You look really tired. I think I recognize that voice. Are you okay, G1? Huh? But she... I told you to take it easy. Qu 
quit ten years ago. Have a glass of water and come back inside. No way. How am I still alive? And why do I look like my younger self? I was beaten to death by Minwa. Beep, beep. This is my old phone. What, what the? From 10 years ago. After living through a shitty marriage, I was murdered by my husband and best friend. And now I've gone back in time, 10 years. What happened? Am I dreaming right now? I don't see how this is possible. Is this just my life flashing before my eyes one last time? But why this? Why 10 years ago? G1? Huh? Menlan Park. Huh? What the hell? What is he doing here? You weren't in your seat, so I came to get you. What are you doing over here? Over there. G1. Huh? Menwan Park? <gasps> Why is she so scared? What the hell? What is he doing here? You weren't in your seat, so I came to get you. What are you doing over there? Marry my husband, episode two. Huh? What's wrong? You don't look so good. Are you alright? Uh, maybe you should take the rest of the day off. Um, this is what you get for trying to ruin our lives. Ah, you're good as dead, so for the love of God, please just go out quietly. You hypocrite. <gasps> do you want? If you're not feeling well, uh, do you want me to get you some medicine? Uh, move. Hey, do you want? What's up with you? Let go! Don't talk to me, or look at me! <gasps> Jiwon, what's wrong? Oh, it's her best friend. <laughs> what's wrong? I heard people shouting, so I came to see what's, what's going on. Sumin, Jiwon. Well, yeah, I have my whole life ahead of me. You're going to die soon anyway. <laughs> So they came to haunt me even after my death? Go to hell. This is my first time. Huh? What did he just say? Actually, seeing her for what she is, I want to kill her. Should I do it? If this is just a dream. Jiwon! I could hear everything from outside. What's going on with you today? Are you okay? Miss Yang. All right, Mr. Yu is looking for you. Uh, you should go. Just, where am I? Let me die in peace. Uh, although I can vividly remember every, everything that has happened to me in the past decade. Yu and K food department head. Yi Ji Hyuk Yu. I cannot pronounce Korean names. I'm so sorry. Miss K. This man alone stands in a blur. I do know who he is, but he feels unfamiliar. Who was he again? Ji Hyuk Yu. Ah. Oh, I remember now. He was tall and always wore a suit. He was a man of few words who didn't speak unless it was absolutely necessary. Ji Hyuk Yu, the head of the marketing at UNK Food. He is rather handsome. Please remember that you're at work, Miss Kang, which is the company I used to work at 10 years ago. I expect you to separate your work life and personal life. Uh, I'm sorry. I've completed the final review on this report, so please proceed with the project. I don't have any additional work for you today, so you're welcome to go home. Oh, you get to go home when there's nothing else to do? A handkerchief. 
Being able to control your emotion is a skill, Miss K. Please don't trouble your colleagues with your personal problems. All right, thank you. Uh, this must be a dream. I'm sure of it. Uh, oh, oh, oh! There's no way any of this is really happening. Ooh, it's, mm -hmm. Are you all right? Uh -huh. You seem to be experiencing dizziness. Should I ever stood this close to Mr. Yu before? Uh, I I'm okay. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I have to get out of here. If I've been cursed to live the same hellish life all over again, I'm not going to sit here, just sit here and let it happen. Why? Have I been reincarnated? For what purpose? Uh, and that wasn't in my memory. It never happened before. Back then, I... Excuse me. Aren't you getting off? Oh, sorry. There was that one time. Ten years ago, when I tripped and fell in front of Mr. Yu, I wonder why I'm suddenly reminded of that. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Uh, where's she running to? Why do I keep embarrassing myself even after I'm dead? Is she dead? I'm very confused. Like, I'm trying to figure out as much as she is. <sighs> It's spring time here too. Oh, she kind of scraped her knee pretty bad there. Beep, beep. So, Min One Park. Just leave me alone. Beep. Crap. Where should I go now? Maybe this is the only day I have. Why did it have to be now of all times? This is the year I married Min One. Bzz. If this isn't a dream, bzz, why does this jerk keep calling? Huh? Mr. Yu? Bzz. Hello? It's me, Miss K. Some additional documents were sent over to our team, so I told Miss Yang, please take a look at it when you can. Okay, I'll take a look at it tomorrow. Uh, Miss K, tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, sorry. Will I make it tomorrow? Okay. Wait. It feels like something's in my pocket. <gasps> this is... Everything will be okay. You'll get back on your feet in no time and make a lots of money too. And you meet a man who is head over heels for you. Dad. <gasps> it was you. This isn't a miracle or an illusion. Promise me, you'll live a happy life. It's my dad's last gift. I've actually come back in time ten years. Okay, dad. I'll do it as you say. Thank you, dad. I'll pick up the pieces and try to live a happy life. Hmm. What's up with her? She's not answering my calls or texts. This isn't like she won. She was so out of it that she even left her bag. Mr. Park, G1 is still not answering your calls? Uh, no, I'll go check on her after work. She left her bag, so I should take it to her. I wonder what's going on. Maybe she had a bad day. Then why don't we get her some fried chicken to go from the place right out front? <laughs> G1 will love that. Oh, that's a good idea. Why don't we get off of work at the same, Mr. Park? It's still working hours. Please get back to work. Ooh. Mm. Yes, sir. I apologize. I'm sorry, sir. Why is that prick always picking on me? Because you're a douche. Scatadouche. She sent a lot of text messages to Chiwon too. Chiwon King, 
How dare you ignore my text? That looks... She looks very devilish here. <sighs> I'm telling y'all, the moment you meet someone who has that, like, devilish look instead of, like, worrying, like, genuinely worried about someone, but they, they try to get revenge kind of look, those are snakes and y'all need to remove yourself from those kind of people. Been there, done that. Like, been there, seen that. Jiwon King, how dare you ignore my text? Marry my husband, episode 3. My old passcode was that bastard's birthday. I should change it right away. Beep, 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 beep. 0410. I choose today's date, a new beginning to my new life. Beep, beep, beep. After 10 years, I've come back home. That's... Mmm. I would burn all those. Ta-da! You said this stuffed animal was cute, so I got one too. Let's have it to be our friendship item. What do you say? I love everything you love, Juwon. I didn't think that meant you'd love the same man too. It was strange when I thought about it. All the guys I liked ended up asking Sumin out. Of course, it's just my suspicions. I have no intentions of digging up the past. I have more pressing matters at hand. Found it. Bangkok Bank. Bank book. I say Bangkok. Oh my god, I am out of it. I need more money. I have 10 million wands in condolence condolence money from my dad's funeral, which I couldn't bring myself to use, which is about 7,500 US dollars, and my 10 million won deposit for this house. I also owe the bank, bank 20 million won, which is about $15,000. I wish I had memorized some lottery numbers. <laughs> that is something I would have done. Like, I would remember every little lottery number, so if I do go in the past, I should first pay off my debt and start saving, but where am I going to find the money? Oh, I should use him. Min Wan Park, he's obsessed with investing in stocks. It was around this time. That's all his stocks soared. Oh, I'm going to make sure he helps me out in this life. Although eventually we had to live off of my paycheck after he used up my severance and even took out a loan because he couldn't turn a profit. Mm. Mm. From Minwa, Jiwon, what's going on? I'll pick up some fried chicken for dinner after work. L let's talk. Cut. What? Fried chicken. What's gone into him? He hates chicken. He always say it makes him sick. I should find a new place. But first... I'll have to end this once and for all. Cut. What's with a short answer? Jiwon. I don't want fried chicken. Let's meet at the pub in front of my place. Seriously? What the hell's going on? I've never seen her act this way before. Mr. Park, you keep staring at your phone. Are you still working on the list of samples? It's due today. Oh, I was just about to submit it, sir. There he goes again. Here's a list of samples that have been reviewed. I've sent you my report via email. Are you sure you reviewed all the samples? Yes. Are you sure you checked it properly? We're supposed to receive 10, but I only see nine here. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'll review the list again and bring you a new version. Oops, I forgot to add the last one. Please pay closer attention. You're not, you're at work, not at school. I shouldn't have to check your homework like a teacher. If you work in corporate, especially a private company, they treat you exactly like this, so I'm not surprised. Update the list and bring it to me as soon as possible. A jerk. We're around the same age and he only got the department head position through his connections. Why is he making me write up this report? He could have asked an entry-level employee to do it. Huh? Hmm. 
Suman always put a smile on my face. Cheer up, Mr. Park. We're going to have fried chicken and beer tonight. She's so sweet and cute. <laughs> Thanks. Jiwon wants to meet up at the pub after work. A pub? She didn't answer any of my texts. <clears throat> Snake. I should go downstairs first and clean up my car. Jiwon is used to it, but I can't have Suman riding in a messy car. <laughs> Unlike Suman, Jiwon wouldn't have even tried to cheer me up just now. She kind of sucks, if I think about it. All my clothes suck. Everything in my closet is so tacky. What did I wear back then? Did I even wear makeup? Well, at least I have great skin. <laughs> I do remember doing my hair from time to time. Tonight's going to be our last dinner together. I can't go out looking like this. Hmm. It's been a while since I've used a hair straightener. Huh? I remember it was a breezy spring day back then as well. I sat on my makeup vanity, turned on my hair straightener, and turned to try to reach for my phone, which had fallen on the ground to check a message. But my phone got tangled up in the cables. The, fa the straightener fell on my wrist and I ended up getting a burn. There's no scar. Right. I can change my fate. I'm on my way. I'm bringing you a present. Then what? A present? Does he mean... I just remember another old memory. Ta-da! I'm your surprise present! Suman. Back then, I had no idea what they would get along so... That they would get along so well. Wait. I know. I just thought of the ultimate revenge. The pitiful love you tried to protect by murdering me. <laughs> Let me make it come true for you. <laughs> Suman! <laughs> I want you to marry Minwan in my place. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like the title, I kind of like thought it was going to be something extremely different when it's like, say, marry my husband. Um, I thought I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna get like a second wife, like a mistress, and it's a storyline like that. But I did not expect, I had never read a story where the person, the main character dies, and she goes back in time, and she's able to change, you know, her life, you know, her path or whatever. So... Honestly, I heard it's a thing and a lot of people on the webtoon community was talking about it where they're kind of sick of this type of storyline, but it's new to me. So, so far I'm actually loving it. So I think this will be, you know, included to my webtoon reading list as I start to edit and do different stuff to it because now I have to oblige by the webtoon policy on like filtering and blurring a lot of the content of each panels so or each episode so definitely this is a good read I can't wait to add to it and I know the remarried empress is back soon so I'm super excited for the new season so anyways guys if you guys enjoy my webtoon reading style and um reaction Feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!